Creativity is an addiction. It's a good one. It can be a bad one. It can be a misunderstood one. But it's it's not going to leave you. It's it's hanging out with you. It was born with you. It's going to die with you. In fact, that that's kind of an interesting thing to write about. If you're if if you're a writer and you're looking for subjects to you know put down on paper, you know you know what will your imagination be creating in that moment of departure? I I know mine will be working. I just won't be there to embrace it. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because you know what? We all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Oh, great almighty Google Calendar. I am here to serve you, great almighty Google Calendar. That is like the only way I can make it through life. The Google Calendar. I I, I haven't become addicted to Alexa at all. It, it, she's just there. And and when I'm attached to my Fire Stick on the television set, I can go Alexa, find this television show, and she takes me to places. It's like I, I, she doesn't know. She doesn't know. Or she'll put me on those channels where it's like it's going to cost me three ninety nine or seventeen ninety nine in order to watch this particular series. But but Google Calendar up to date on the spot and and really what it is it's what you feed into the calendar that makes sure that you're on time or are we on time that's one of those things we could spend 15 years talking about so what what is your life like how how do you determine where you're supposed to be and do you get there on time and and they they always used to say if you're from California 15 minutes late is perfectly on time whereas if you were living in my home Three hours early is six hours too late, and I do live by that rule, and and that's that's a very hard life to choose because we're always on the move. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day, and today we're going to talk about a very heavy subject, and and I, I don't want to offend anybody. All I want to do is I just want to have a conversation. I just, I, I just want to talk about it because I think it may open doors with high hopes that it doesn't close a door or a window because I like hanging out with you, but we just sometimes need to have a conversation. And and we're going to talk about Julia Cameron's new book. It's called Seeking Wisdom. She invites readers to see God as they want to see God, not as the God that most preachers are saying, God is going to bring pain upon you. Not, not that God. She wants you to see God the way you want to see God. And this is not a judgment call at all. What I, what I felt while I was reading the words in the opening chapter was it was, it was an invitation for readers to say, well, really, I never even thought about that. And, and if it's true, well, well maybe, may, maybe I'll give, it, I'll give it a chance. I mean, because the thought of making God what you envision is a very interesting way to open up your mind and heart. But what if that God and the multi-gods that are being created by, by the way that you think, I think, our neighbors think, and what, what, the, what the minister is thinking versus what the mayor is thinking and the governor has his own God, we now have a multi-god universe. This is almost like Marvel or DC Comics. You know, your God, how, how does your God talk to you? And, and I'm just having a conversation with you. I mean, I totally grasp how preachers, you know, during my teen days, they, they use God as a scare tool. I mean, they, re- oh my God, when those missionaries came to town, I, I would leave that church on a Wednesday night going, I, I, I'm, go- I'm going to hell. I, my, my God is angry at me because I, I took a dollar from my mom's purse. I mean, look at what happened to Adam and Eve. And yet, and yet, Julia Cameron paints a completely different picture about Adam and Eve. She sees it as a loving father who opened up the eyes of Adam and Eve. And he said, hey, look, there's other art for you to discover. And see, and I I look at that because Julia Cameron's The Artist Way is what changed me. It's almost like someone knocked on my door. Julia did. And she said, you know, you've been creative your entire life. You've been doing this. You've been doing this. You've been strict with this. You've been doing this. But I want to show you art. I want to show you art. What else is out here? And it did change my life forever. I have been a student of Julia Cameron since July of of 1994. I have not only studied the books, but I have activated every single book that she has put out. She has opened up that door for the inner artist to say, wow, there's, there's energy. There's forgiveness. There's compassion. There's what? Understanding? A good friend of me wrote to me last night, sent me a text message. The person said, if I were to commit suicide, does that mean I won't go to heaven? And first of all, I was like, oh, that's kind of a heavy subject, especially since I've been studying the words of Julia Cameron in this new book, Seeking Wisdom. And, And it's like, I, 
is this a test? Is is this someone saying, okay, what 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 is your point of view? Well, my reply was, ask the keeper of your heaven. That's pretty much what Julia Cameron said, right? Make God what you want God to be. So my statement or reply to this person was, what does your keeper of heaven have to say about this? Because I, I'm not your keeper. And, and I, I don't know what my God would say. My God would probably tap me on the shoulder before I got to that point of committing suicide saying, what are you doing, dude? And, 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 and I know that's true because if you could see my arms, you would see that I spent the 1970s, 80s and early 90s being a cutter. And now I'm not a cutter. I don't have the temptation to cut because I've got God in my life. God's always been there. It's just that I I went to a different God because I guess I saw something different. Like Julia Cameron said, that it was like, okay, well, I know that you've been, you know, like really strict with your rules and I I can't live up to you. And it was was almost like I heard, hey, stop it. Just stop it. Let's work on this together. Let's work on it. Okay. My path has always been about being a listener first. And I think that's what the choice is today. Are you listening or are you just doing? And if you're just doing, where what are you listening to to have that strength, that courage, that drive? Because sometimes when you're just doing, you got to go back and listen to how you did. I'm Errol, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.